Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in AppGyver, whether you've been using them before or if you're just now starting and you're wondering, hey, the screens are looking different, is this still one of the best or only codeless application development builders that is completely free? Stay tuned, I'm going to be covering the changes and what that means for you in this video. Now before we get started, feel free to check out my channel because I have tons of different AppGyver tutorials and honestly just other codeless application builder tutorials as well. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and jump straight in. I'm in an incognito window, and I want to go ahead and just basically just cut to the chase. AppGyver is still free for those of you that are looking to use it, but it does have a new look, and there are some changes that you're going to need to be aware of. So I've loaded AppGyver.com right now, and you'll see that AppGyver is now a part of SAAP, is basically up at the top left. And then if you scroll down, you'll see that we have this full stack visual development SAP build apps. Now, part of the perk to AppGyver for me at least is that it's completely free. So it lowers the barrier to entry to build your own mobile app. So you'll see we can explore the SAP build app free tier, which we'll do in a second. But I want to show you the community edition is the one that I've been using on my channel in the past. So you'll see if we click here for the community edition, we go to this screen and you can scroll through. You'll see we have the build apps and we'll go over pricing in a bit. But basically with the community edition, you get to integrate with REST APIs and the build pixel perfect and web and mobile apps, which is basically what you want. So if you're not looking for some enterprise level app. So if you click login or sign up, you'll see you're taken to the old school AppGyver login page. And I'll show you my account to show that all the apps are still there in just a second. But I do want to walk through the low code stuff for just a second. So you'll see we have the no code app builder and you'll see at a glance features get started. So you'll see all of these different things here. But if you want to look at this, you can try the SAP BTP for free if you are interested. But basically you can request a demo or purchase and go to the full enterprise option. So we'll go to click this. I'm I would be surprised if you have pricing uh, we actually have it built in so you'll see quick start service for build apps uh, right around twenty six thousand dollars so you can see this is a very expensive option however this is the enterprise side of things so it is going to be pricier so what we're going to do is we're going to close this really quickly and then we are going to go over to sap or to this app Giver page so when we click on the community edition i'll click learn more I've already signed in in this browser, so you'll see all of my applications are still here. And we'll click on one of the most recent ones. Check the links in the description and on my channel. I have tons of tutorials on building these. But you can see that the mobile app is still here, and I am not paying for this service. So you can still build apps, set them up in Google Play or as a web app or in the iOS or the Apple App Store. So that option or functionality is still there. And from what I've seen, AppGyver is pretty passionate about having that free side. So I would not imagine this would be changing anytime soon. Um, but if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you all in the next video.